Um, an overall thing I would say is just be awareness is probably the one of the bigger things to be aware of, you know, of who's in the ring and what they've gone through, you know, the sacrifice, the work they've done and the awareness of the people around you, uh, that, you know, are you contributing to that or are you, as they would say, going into business for yourself? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, so you start off with, I've got a list here. It's kind of, I made a Facebook post a while ago. This is kind of an abbreviated version. So I've had a list of like some items. And, um, and to Bradley's credit, I will say that he is, he does embody the spirit of uh, how an individual should be a fan of indie wrestling and also basically any form of, of you know, independent entertainment. Well, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, so I'm kind of reading right off of what I, what I abbreviated. Uh, avoiding nasty language. Wait, Don't you... use the worst of the curse words. Uh, you've got kids around you. You've got you know you got people around you that just don't want to hear that. Um, and um, don't you yell sexist or racist comments. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know we we've heard some of that. I won't repeat. But it's at rise in some recent shows that uh, just you know it it just takes away from the moment. Mm -hmm. And and I feel this is what I feel pretty strong with. I think homosexual slurs are there's no place for it anymore. No, Absolutely no, no place. No. And I'm even further. Um, what's surprising? You don't hear it so much as from the heels as from the faces. What do you keep on hearing the faces? The, the the wrestlers will say, "Oh, is that your boyfriend?" Mm -hmm. And that kind of and then so the, the you hear that out of the crowd. The crowd say, "Oh, your boyfriend over there." Oh, mm -hmm. I, hey, this, is uh, DCR your boyfriend? No place for that anymore. Absolutely not. Um. Oh, this thing got this back is off like the, the the commandments of uh, the Bradley commandments. commandments. Yes, I can see this being made into a poster or a uh, some type of yeah. like slabs. Let's get the slabs <laughs> up. You know? I'm going to go to everything with two slabs going forward. Um, making a few comments versus versus being the comedian, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you, David, ran into this. The person that just has to say thing after thing and there here's a joke there a joke there and a joke there and you're gonna annoy everybody with that yeah i mean look i i think that there's a lot of people that that come to shows or there's some people that come to shows that try to make the focus on themselves and and it's about the mm -hmm. people that are performing in the ring i'll i'll throw a couple because I, i've said it in a way that um i am part of the show i'm not the show Right, but I mean, and and to anyone out there that thinks that the fans aren't an integral part of the show, I mean, you look back in the annals of WWE history in mm -hmm. ECW, and there were people that were fans that had distinct characters as well. I mean, remember? I mean, you remember that Ivan guy or whatever his name was at the old WWE shows who was all jacked up and always had the Ico probe, uh, yeah, tank top on, hat guy at uh, ECW, hat guy at ECW, Frank the Clown. Frank the Clown, you've got now the Brock mm -hmm. Lesnar guy in WWE. I mean, that Brock Lesnar guy in WWE has more followers than most indie wrestlers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so I mean, <clears throat> I don't I, I, I like Heel Bradley. Oh. Plus you encourage other people to get into it. Mm -hmm. Um I, I'm I'm very much in the chance. You know, not only starting my own chance, but supporting other people's chance. I've seen some some people, they won't support other people's chance but when they have a second that they can say something they just share with it share with mm -hmm. it and everything yeah um let's see what else i got here being conservative about what advice you have for a wrestling professional david you know what you need to do is bah, 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 bah. yeah yeah my knowledge of professional wrestling is very small compared to david lawless my da david you need to be more like john cena my knowledge, <laughs> don't we all, <laughs> is microscopic compared to, let's say, Shirley Doe. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, if I have an idea, I think I actually shared one or two. I was like, have you ever thought of this? Yeah. You know, but I can't tell. I, I shouldn't tell him, you need to do this. Well, mm -hmm. I think what you're saying, Bradley, doesn't just apply to professional wrestling and fans. It applies to the world. I mean, look, you know, mm -hmm. when you go to your accountant, Right. Are there certain things you may want to claim on your taxes? Sure. Can you do it? Maybe not. Right. right. When you go to your lawyer. Yeah, there's certain things that I want to get out of this case. 
Okay, but if if I can't give that to you, then you know, you're not going to tell me how to do my job. Right. Right. You can make suggestions. We could talk. I mean, as a fan, I think it's good to get feedback from the people. You know, what do you like? Mm -hmm. What don't you like? Mm -hmm. But you know, to actually talk about the nuts and bolts of, oh man, like I wish you would have, you know, had a couple more rest spots or done this. Like, yeah. we don't need that. We don't need that. Right. Um, avoiding negative comments about a wrestler's performance or about the show. Don't state loudly the move was botched. Uh, yes. Or the ma a match was bad or wrestler was isn't good. If you're sharing these thoughts, do it quietly. If, right. If, I, if I'm sitting next to Tyler, I might turn to him and say, You probably do that a lot, too. Uh, probably a lot. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you do it quietly. And, and by all means, never chant, I'm not a cursor, you effed up. Yeah. No place for that. Yeah, I think. Especially in indie wrestling. No. I, I mean, I that, that is the thing. I think in an environment like a JCW, yeah, that's where that happens. But it's a very ECW-like like thing. Yeah, but you almost, uh, like, that's expected. Right. But uh, like it shouldn't. I can't think of a promotion that should happen here in Pittsburgh. No, mm -hmm. but that's not like again. When you go to a place like JCW, you know what you're getting into. Yeah, yeah, right. And I'm not saying that that gives fans free reign to so do whatever they want. Juggalo Championship Wrestling. So they just a uh, yeah. You've heard the music. I mean, look. <laughs> here's the thing. You watch the uh, the old PWG shows, mm -hmm. right? When they did it at the VFW or whatever it mm -hmm. was, the fans would stand up and pound on the ring and everything. Yeah. At PWG, they want fans to do that, but n not at every show. People shouldn't be standing that close to the ring or right. pounding the ring, right? It, it's specific to the promotion you're at, right? But in general, if you're going there to to belittle or demean the performers, please mm. just it, it's not right. Worth it. Don't don't do it. We're Absolutely. human beings too. Um, I, I had mostly negatives, but here's a positive: compliment wrestlers, compliment sta staff, promoters. Um, I'm often messaging. I messaged Matt Connard after his really good match. Mm -hmm. If I didn't get to see him, um, I was complimenting David here. Thank you. Um, buy some merch if you can. Uh, there's a Lance Storm qu quote that he says he tells his trainers. He says that pro wrestling is the most expensive hobby you'll ever have. That or that or being a musician. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that helps. They work hard to entertain us and especially respect the women. The women have a harder time, I feel like. Um, all you have to do is hear certain folks like Kelly Klein or Jordan Grace talk about the messages they get. Oh, yeah. Um, just yeah. don't be a creep. Don't uh, send, send strange messages. Um, Which applies to everything in life. It does. Um, and, and respect the space. I, I know fans will just cr go up and try to hug the women. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have, Missy ran into this. I have it like, if the first thing I do with a woman is to shake hands. Yeah. You know, and if they show they want to hug, then you, you do hug. Yeah. And, 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 and it's a polite shoulder hug. You oh, don't, yeah, you don't go full the, bro hug. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm but, a hugger in general, so I will hug male and female fans. Mm -hmm. But it, but it depends on if they're comfortable with that and it depends mm -hmm. on. That's right. You know, if, if, if. If if you have that type of relationship with people, that's right, right. So you so you respect that space there. Sure. Um, being a vault, which means you might get lucky and hear a bit of gossip. You might hear something from backstage or something. Um, uh, just be really careful who you share that with. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I I I'd be hanging out with Sorg. I sometimes hear little things. I could go to the next Rise show and say, "Hey, I heard this." Blah, 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 blah. And it could ruin things. Yeah. So keeping that to yourself. And there might be things that I hear that I just probably should never. Sh I've, I've heard things I've, I've never shared with anybody because I don't think there's any appropriate time for it to, to for that to happen. Yep. So, you know, keep it if you think. This is a good one. You, you like to, I think you'd like this one. Are these wrestlers your friends? Well, yes and no. You, they, 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 they're happy that you come. They mm -hmm. want to. We say hi. Mm -hmm. They they they're ha they're happy. You you know you buy something from them. They might want to not want your messages every day. Um, Sean Phoenix recently was saying, "Work. We can't be your therapists." Yeah, yeah. Um, you know you might not want to just shoot DMs at them. Um, 
they might not go to your birthday party. Right. So, you know, you get realize where that line is. And on the other side, Joe Dabrowski does, uh, he just did this past week. Uh, I can't believe it's on this past episode or one coming up uh, talking about wrestlers. Do, you know, watch friending the fans too yeah. for new guys. I, I've ran to that a little bit of that too. The friend uh, and uh, getting a wrestler that gets real friendly with you and it, it can get a little awkward. Yeah. I mean, look, you know, coming from especially my background and my profession, it mm-hmm. was, you know, it was a very delicate balance because. Um, first of all, there's no one, I I tell everyone that I encounter clients, friends, family, Mm -hmm. people on the street that I'm a professional wrestler, Mm -hmm. because my opinion is that if you find that out and you don't want to work with me or don't be, want to be associated with me, then I don't want to be associated with you. Right. Mm -hmm. Because I'm very proud of the accomplishment of being able to do this. I'm proud of who I am and it's entertainment at the Mm -hmm. end of the day. Right. It doesn't mean I want to beat up women or beat up men because I'm a professional wrestler. Right. With the fans as well, you know, I love each and every single fan that comes to the show. You know, I, it was funny. I was messaging with a friend, and they asked, how'd the show go? And I said, oh, you know, the fans were booing the heck out of me at the IWC show. And I loved it. Mm-hmm. It's like, I've never heard of someone that's happy that's that they're getting booed. But it makes sense. <laughs> you know, and we're always happy to talk to the fans after, talk to them in intermission. Uh, you know, we, we try to stay in character as best we can. But, you know, I, I like to think I'm a nice guy. But you're right. To a certain extent, right, there is a relationship that exists beyond the show. I'm happy to consult Mm -hmm. with people if they have questions or need any help. But you can't be best friends with everyone. And you can't be friends Mm -hmm. with everyone. Um, You get along with people. You're cordial. But but at the end of the day, too, like, there's there's breaks in your life, right? I don't wrestle all the time, Mm -hmm. right? I don't practice law all the time, right? I'm me. I need some of those divisions, if that makes sense. Absolutely. And that that's more to the they're not your best friends. Absolutely. Consider putting the phone away when you're going to the wrestling event. Yeah. Now I, I, I used to I at one point I called this just just put the phone away. Um I, I thought about as I thought about this presentation, an exception I would give is if you're sharing things that happen at the event. Yep. The only, that's the only thing I could think of because to me that's between tell, matches. You're you're telling your yeah. friends on social media, "Hey, look at this great wrestling. I'm seeing this great David Lawless match." Hey, and, and then your maybe your friends are going to say, "Hey, look at that David Lawless guy. He's pretty neat. I don't, I got to go to Rise and see David Lawless." But otherwise, you know, looking at your Facebook posts can wait till the event is over. Looking what's going on on Twitter can wait. We, we've to different levels. We all have face um, smartphone addictions. Sure, mm-hmm. but uh, I know myself. I for the most part, unless I want to take a picture of something by chance, this phone stays in my pocket. Yeah, you know, I'm not a guy. And there's some people that are, and that's fine. But I'm not a guy that even feels like sharing something that's happening on my Facebook. I, I'm like, let's put this away because I want. I want to focus on the action. Mm-hmm. I want to focus on. The wrestling and what's going on. Well, there's, I mean, there's a certain investment that you have to make into wrestling to really understand it, right? Mm-hmm. To get the story that the wrestlers are telling or to, to, to understand the overall show itself. I do think, though, that social media is it's our best friend and our worst enemy here in professional wrestling because mm-hmm. we're connected to everyone, but it also helps to generate the buzz and the word of mouth and, mm-hmm. you know, get your name out there and, and that whole you never know who's watching. I mean, you look at someone like, you know, Johnny Patch, and he does a, you know, shooting star coast to coast this weekend that gets 44,000 views because in less than 24 hours that. because a fan taped it. That's right. And Caden, if, if Caden's out there, or, you know, Caden, great, great mm-hmm. guy. Um, I What he does is really cool, right? Mm-hmm. He tapes yeah. the stuff, and then he goes and posts it after the show, mm-hmm. right? Because he's a fan first, and he wants to watch the stuff. As yeah, it's and, going no, on. and no promotions putting stuff out that quick. Right, you exactly. Know, to, right. To, to, you know, no, no, no promotion as a social media person. Sure, <laughs> no. but I, I think if 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 the phone is being used for that purpose while you're at the shows, mm-hmm. I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. or like when Gory's on top of the cage at IWC this weekend, and you pull your phone out. Mm-hmm. 
maybe you've never seen a gory match, but I'm pretty sure he's going to jump off the top of the cage into something gory, <laughs> right? So that's a big moment that you're waiting for. Yeah. Right. right? Yeah. So you know or what's when coming. the Rev Ron Hunt comes out with the cowboy hat, and you're just like, what the hell is this? I got to film this. Or when so. T. Ranchula goes and grabs nachos. Yeah. You're just Someone's like, uh-huh. getting those nachos in their face, right? So you <laughs> might want to put that on social media. Yeah. Yeah. Or, but, I, or you get a message from David Laws. Be like, hey, I'm doing this cool move. Can you film it for me? I see you're in the audience. <clears throat> exactly. <clears throat> well, that was more for Lee Moriarty. Sorry to make you work on your night yeah, off. Yeah, so. yeah. Katie got the better shot. The ref was in my way, as That's true. usual. That's my true. story of my life. But these are all these are all great, Brad. Keep going. Um, <laughs> the I'm I'm gonna wrap up with two things. One is I don't, I can't think of a single wrestling show where there isn't somebody within a, a, that's going to be annoying. I was missing me some she strange do? noise once I said someone was going to be oh, that annoying. Was, and that was off mic. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Yes. <laughs> um, so just don't, it's always going to happen. Mm-hmm. And don't let that ruin your time there. Mm-hmm. I'm, I've gotten really good at, you know, if, if there's someone near me that's annoying, just block them out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, I've, cause I've heard other people that will, they'll start arguing with that person. Yeah. I've been at shows where, you know, n- you're, you're not going to get anywhere with that. Correct. Mm-hmm. So just block them out and just on your own, try to present yourself as best as possible. And I'll just end with, it's like I said, all you have to do is be aware of yourself, be aware of how you're coming off to the wrestlers, how you're coming off to the people around you. And once I, I ended this on my Facebook post and I'll end it up the same way here. Once you learn to all, do this, all this per- correctly and become the perfect fan, you can come to me and tell me how you did it. Cause I'm not the perfect fan. Cause I touched, I grabbed a mi- that microphone at IWC and spoke to it. <laughs> you, 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 you had the, the second worst cardinal sin. Yes. The first would be jumping the barricade. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. When the microphone lands in your lap, and, <laughs> I, I mean, uh, Bradley, I don't know if I fault you for, for taking that shot. No, that no, no, no. Either. Well, I, I, I mean, legit, legitimately, I thought the mic was off. Look, I would, I would say that that was the equivalent of the person who throws the home run back at the baseball game mm-hmm. to, to, to show the people, hey, I got the ball. I'm throwing it back. Right? Right. So... I mean, if, if that's the pro wrestling equivalent, then as long as no one got hurt, you're okay. Okay. So I'm off. I can yeah. go back to IWC shows now. No, no, no. I never said that. Well, well, I, I just never did said the whole, I just did the whole thing that Chris, I'm wearing a stupid shirt. Well, first of all, that shirt's not stupid. Second of all, I'm going to have to consult with my brothers and the regulators to see if your penance has been met. What if I go to stomp out cancer? Close. 